This short video will show you how to build your own Tandoor oven for flower pots and you'll be surprised at how quick and simple it is to do. Hi, welcome to the next uh, Tandoori number two. Hopefully you've watched the first one, now we're going to build the second one. First one was fantastic, but the trouble was it only did for two people. So now we're at a party and there's 11 people and we need a bigger Tandoori. So I've now got a bigger pot. So I bought this uh, big pot on half price pot sound. So, right, let's build it then. So first of all, we can show you how quick it is to build. Just put a ring in here to lift, <laughs> lift the, the base. So this is my, my base. Put a few holes in the bottom. Okay. Next thing, we've got a wider, a wider top this time. Cut the top off. The main thing here is we can have our naan breads, which is what everyone wants. And I'll just put that on top like so. Now the key thing, difference I've picked up from other people is, if you just look in here a minute, Anthony, there's this, the pot goes on the outside, so we've got this ring on the inside. So now we can actually put our skewers on there, so they're not actually on the coals. Plus I've also got another ring around the bottom so I can have it lowered down, or I can even go down on the coals. And I'll drill some holes in there, so hopefully lots of ventilation. The other thing I was gonna do is put a grid on the bottom, which someone else did, to bring the coals off. Unfortunately, I um, forgot to bring that with me. So we'll try it like this, see how it works. And the last thing I need to do is put insulation on and the tandoor is built. So, so once again, the insulation is uh, vermiculite. Yeah. Right, that's it. What we now to do is put some coals in. Light it and cook. This is a bit where I burn my hands off. <laughs> right, we'll leave that to catch the light. So you might as well turn it off, then we'll come back in a minute and see what the temperature's like. How about not eating? Cool, is, is that alright for you, Lance? Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. No, that's cool. Should be enough to <laughs> That is so cool. That is, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pretty, isn't it? Pretty. Pretty. No, it's cool. That's right. It's just the right words. It's pretty and functional. <laughs> okay, it's now 8 o'clock in the evening. It's six hours after we had our original barbecue or Tandoor food earlier, so I've kept this running while I've um, wow, well, look at that, and uh, yeah, she's still going. So we're now gonna have a snack. We're gonna have what are we gonna have now? We're gonna have um, oh, yeah, a whole load of naan breads and then some more chicken tikka. But let's just check the temperature here. Oh, 820 up the top there is. 800 840 right so that was um fahrenheit so you want it in celsius so in celsius that's down there 440 and at the top 440 fantastic nice and clean so let's go and put some um uh, put some naans on okay let's put our naan breads on now but i just want to show you how easy it is to put naans on so if you come in and I'll just slap them on the side like that. If you're tough, you wouldn't be wearing gloves, but I'm not tough. Let's put one down there, eh? And then hopefully, you see them bubbling up already. Oh, look at that, they're good. And if I want to heat them up quickly, I'll just put the lid on a bit. And then, um, I'll tell you what. Right, I'll just leave it a fraction longer. And the way they bubble up is quite good, isn't it? What do you reckon, one year, do you one's done now? Yeah, they'll be ready. 
give this one a go. Come on, off oh, you come, baby. Well, now, now number one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Scott, and I'll start putting on some... Um... Thank you for watching this video, and if you want to know more about this uh, Tandoor oven, uh, check out my website, www.simplenick.com, or check out my YouTube channel. And once again, thank you for viewing.